The purpose of this video clip is to demonstrate the simplicity of performing the more advanced floss cleaning procedure that you will use if the sampler syringe method does not sufficiently reduce the DC light value displayed on the software interface. Rotate the sampler so that you have access to the rear panel screws and use a 332nd Allen head wrench to remove each of the six button head screws securing the rear panel. Now that the lid has been removed, you will have access to the tubing connecting to the sensor capillary. At this time, you will need to retrieve the small specialty wrench to loosen the fitting attached to the top of the sensor capillary. Position the three small pins to fit in the cutouts on the fitting and turn counterclockwise to remove the fitting. It is not necessary to remove the bottom connection during this procedure. Do not worry about this fitting. Instead, Turn the unit around and remove the inlet fitting connected to the sampler chassis. Once this step is completed, you are ready to begin cleaning. Retrieve the box of super floss and extract a piece of floss. Notice that the shorter, skinny end of the floss is slightly bluish in color and appears to be coated in a wax. This end should never pass through the capillary as the wax can be deposited on the cell walls, therefore adding steps to the cleaning process. What is desired is to wet the fat section in the middle of the floss with the cleaning solution. One option to wet the floss would be to remove the lid of the pre-mixed bottle and dip the fat section into the solution inside. For the purposes of this video clip, two other alternative methods to wet the floss will also be shown. First, I will turn the sampler around so you can see the next step which is to thread the floss through the capillary. Feed the long compressed end we identified earlier into the top capillary fitting. Keep feeding it through until you see it begin to exit the lower fitting on the sampler chassis. Pull it through until the fat section reaches the top capillary fitting. It is a simple task to squeeze a small amount onto the fat section with the squeeze bottle or use the eyedropper to do the same thing. Once you have the fat section fully wetted and pulled into the sample cell, alternate pulling it down and then up for anywhere around 30 to 60 seconds. Once you are satisfied with the cleaning effort, simply pull the floss back the way you threaded it in. Now you will need to reconnect the top fitting to the sensor. After you have threaded it finger tight, use the supplied wrench to snug it up slightly. Do not over tighten this fitting. Next, reconnect the inlet fitting and run a sample or two to ensure that the capillary is clean and no leaks were introduced during the process. After you are satisfied with the DC light value, replace the rear cover and secure with the six screws removed at the beginning of this procedure. When you have completed this procedure, the unit is ready to return to service. We anticipate that an operator can complete this entire procedure in less than 15 minutes which should not constitute a significant burden on the rare occasion that is required.